If you are just joining us, folks, here, there is four minutes left to play here in this first half. Michigan is up 20 points over the Appalachian State Mountaineers. They're up 41 to 21. What have you seen so far in this first half, Hunter? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's just been physical play and uh, trapping on the defensive side of the ball that's really forced turnovers. Uh, I love what, how they're trapping Justin Forrest, who, I mean, he's been the primary offensive focus for Appalachian State. Uh, they've made no attempt to hide that, and Michigan's identified that early, shut him down, and it's, it's been pretty easy to shut down the entire offense for Appalachian State. Yeah, absolutely. Justin Forrest has been really, like you said, the main uh, offensive threat for the Appalachian State Mountaineers. He has a team-high seven points as opposed to Michigan, who uh, two of the team high categories, points and rebounds are both led by John Teske. Teske in this first half already has double-double, 13 points and 10 boards. That's an awesome opening start for him uh, in the regular season. Yep, absolutely. Teske looking to take over a big role coming in this year. He played a lot last year, played some good minutes. However, he's gonna be, need to be a stronger force here as Franz Wagner is out to start this year. Timeout just wrapping up here. Folks, we're going to look to get back to play here. Appalachian State going to look to need to score some more bucks here, get some more momentum going into the half. Uh, being down 20 is never a good thing, especially going into a quarter break like that. Yeah, and I, they're going to have to make adjustments in the second half if they want to work this game back closer. I think a lot of it's going to be getting Isaac Johnson going. He hasn't really factored much in their offense. And Justin Force has got to find the open man when he drives. He's got to kick it out a little bit more. Um, he just ends up dribbling into situations where he's forced to throw it into contested areas or just out of bounds. Uh, and you, you're never going to win a ball game doing that. Yep, absolutely. As the timeout wraps up, Michigan set to play some defense here as Appalachian State brings the ball up the court. This is Johnson inbounding the ball over to Justin Forrest. Forrest, like I said, is the lead scorer for the Appalachian State Mountaineers. Forrest now letting the ball roll a little bit, saves some clock, and brings the ball up now. His pass over to Johnson. Johnson now swings the ball over to the far side, over towards Williams. Williams now inside to Johnson. We had a foul call there on the Mountaineers. This is going to lead to Michigan coming down now. This is going to be Isaiah Livers to inbound to David DeJulius. Here's the inbound pass, and DeJulius coming down now. And drawing offensive fouls is going to be huge for that defense. Yep, absolutely. This is DeJulius now looking to swing it inside. The livers can't get that pass. Brings it over to the left wing to, I, to Eli Brooks. Brooks now back to DeJulius. DeJulius with nobody really near him, not looking to shoot. Swings the ball over to Brooks, who is looking to shoot. However, his shot falls short, his three-point attempt. This is Forrest now pushing down in transition fast. We're going to have a block called on David DeJulius. Michigan fans unhappy with that one. They thought it was a charge. Looked like he was just inside the uh, protected area. Yeah, he was inside the protected area. He was moving a little bit, but, you know, always root for your home fans. Absolutely. Forrest now to the line for the Mountaineers. Not somebody you like to see at the line. He's a pretty good uh, free throw shooter historically. Looking to knock these ones down. The Michigan fans bring quite a racket in. First shot undoubtedly goes in. Just bangs that one down. Zap Weston's first points in the past three minutes. Uh, the score is now 41 to 22. Yep. John's Jr. now inbound to the ball to Eli Brooks. Brooks now running the point. He's coming up. He's bringing the ball up. Appalachian State has switched into a 3 2 zone, looks like. That ball swung into Teske. Teske now to the outside. He swings the ball to Johns Jr. Johns Jr. delivers, delivers back to Teske. Teske just backing this man down. That's going to be a bucket for Teske. His 15th point of the night. And that's what you want to see out of him. Just a great play right there to just back him down and do a little post shimmy and put the ball in. Yeah, absolutely. Williams now in control of the ball, guarded by DeJulius. Swings the ball over to Seacat. Seacat guarded by Teske. Teske giving him some room, not known to be a shooter. This ball, a three-point attempt by Johnson. That goes off the front of the rim and off the backboard. Michigan now running in transition. Brooks looking to pull up for a three, not going to pull that one. Swings it over to Teske, Teske right back, looking to swing that ball inside, can't get it. Ball swung over to Livers, Livers with a three-point attempt, goes just wide to the left. We're going to have uh, Johns Jr. going in for a rebound attempt. It's going to be a foul called on number zero, Johnson for Appalachian State. Great hustle play right there, catching them off guard, jumping through and getting that offensive rebound drawn the foul. Yep, absolutely. Appalachian State 
has committed 18 fouls so far, so Michigan is in the bonus. Johns Jr. is going to shoot a one and one here. Checking in for Michigan is number five, Nunez. Hutch falls over to the crowd as John Jr. sets up for his first free throw. This one up. Off the back of the rim, no good. Williams with the rebound now for Appalachian State. He's taking his time, bringing the ball up. Gives it to Forrest. Forrest now bringing the ball up. He has nine points, team high for Appalachian State. It's been a Forrest now. He's got a one-on-one -on -one against Eli Brooks. Little in-and-out move, driving to the basket. Blocked by Great John Jr. It's a nice defense there. Appalachian State still in control of the ball, though. We have a player down. Looks like it's going to be number one, Justin Forrest. He's laying on the ground, holding his back. Nothing you like to see there. Yeah, that's tough. Uh, that driving, being as physical as he is, going through the trees there to try and make a layup, it's always dangerous. Yeah, he had a little awkward fall there as he tried to maneuver his way around Teske. We're going to hope he's okay. We're going to take an injury timeout as the trainer comes over to check on Johnson. Or Forrest, sorry. If you are just joining us, folks, here, there is just over two minutes left here in this first half. Michigan Wolverines are up 20 points, 43-23. to 23. They've been a real force here in this first half. Teske has 15 points and also leads the team in rebounds as well with 11. In terms of Appalachian State, Justin Forrest, the injured player down on the ground, has been really the highlight of Appalachian State. He has nine points. He's as, he has the team high. They're going to need some production out if he can't play the rest of this game. Yeah, and it's going to come down to Isaac Johnson, uh, who's been pretty quiet for Appalachian so far. And I think they got to uh, get him going too because, I mean, he's been – just as dominant as Justin Forrest over the past couple years for Appalachian State. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Forrest now helping up. He's rolling his neck around a little bit. Fans clapping. Love to show the signs of respect here coming out of your Michigan Wolverines fans. He's walking now over towards the bench. We're going to have a sub check in for him. Looks like it's going to be Michael Bibby coming in. Hunter Kimball joining live right now. Yep, we have uh, my new co-host coming in, Hunter Kimball, to wrap out this first half. Had some great first half action. Wolverines now up 43 to 23 as the clock just ticks under two minutes. Appalachian State now in control of the ball. That's going to be a shot clock violation. Some nice defense there by the Michigan Wolverines. Suffocating defense tonight for Michigan. I've really been surprised by the offensive output. Yeah, they've looked pretty well. So they've looked pretty good so far. You know, racked up 43 points in this first half. As Eli Brooks now coming down and running the point guard position. Juwan Howard waving, signaling to play here. He swings the ball over to Nunez. Nunez on the left wing. Looking to get the ball into Teske. Can't get that one. Teske calling for a back screen for Brooks. Brooks now with two guys on him. Swings it over to the far corner to Johns Jr. Johns Jr. with a nice move. Draws contact. Tries to swing it over to Teske. That pass too hot. Goes off Teske's hands into the hands of Seacat. Seacat now swings it over to Bibby. Bibby now pushing the ball down. He's got a one-on-one -on -one against Nunez. Blows by him. Swings the ball over to Lewis, however, Lewis is going to be called for a travel. He got to the basket real quick there. Fans are a little confused how he did it because he didn't dribble. Back-to-back -back turnovers there by the App State offense. Yep, absolutely. It's going to be Johns Jr. now inbounding. You know, to close out this first half, we've seen a lot of point guard position run by Eli Brooks, something we didn't really expect coming into this game, something we really haven't seen much of. Brooks doing a nice job, though. He's working a one-on-one -on -one now against Williams. He drives, drives baseline, swings it over to Johns Jr., swings it back out to Livers. Livers now to Nunez. Nunez over, back to Johns Jr. Jr. swings it in to Teske. Teske now out to Livers. Livers with a little shovel underhand pass over to Johns Jr. with a nice drive. He's got a foul call. Nice strong take of the basket there by Johns Jr. is going to draw the foul from Lewis. Yeah, I look to see a bigger output from Brandon Johns Jr. and the Michigan offense this year. Didn't get a whole lot of looks last year, but expect a much bigger role. Yep, Johns Jr. only two points in 10 minutes played, but he's he's been real uh, effective on both sides of the floor. You know, he's been playing nice help defense. He's been real productive on the offensive end, swinging the ball around. Not something that really shows up on the stat sheet, but really shows in the play of the game. His first free throw attempt is going to go off the back iron. That's his first free throw attempt of the night and his first miss. John Teske's going to check out here with one minute and four seconds left to play. Coming in for him is number 11, Colin Castleton. Gaston with six points in this game. 
quite a first half for John Teske. Yeah, absolutely. Teske already with a double-double in this first half, 15 points and 11 boards. Seven points off his career high said he, that he set against Nebraska. It's great stats for him so far. Brandon John Jr. knocks that second free throw down, bringing his total points of the night to three. This is Williams now working one-on-one -on -one against Brooks on the offensive end for Appalachian State. Swings it over to Seacat. Seacat now over to Lewis. Lewis working one-on-one. -on -one. He swings the ball back over to Williams. Shot contested by Eli Brooks. That three-point attempt is going to bounce up and on top of the basket and go out of bounds. Nice uh, contest there. 45 seconds here left to play. Michigan going to look to pad the lead a little more. They are up 21, but going to look to score, get some more momentum going in. Brooks letting this one roll the game a little bit of extra seconds. He gets a pick right away from Castleton. Swings it over to Castleton now. Castleton with a drive. We're going to have... An attempt to charge by Lewis. However, oh, that just lets Lewis get right up and in for an easy layup. We got a whistle call here. We got a foul call. Looks like it's going to be called on. Looks like it's going to be called on Lewis. A little uh, miscommunication, a little confusion from the Appalachian State fence. Great finish there at the basket by Colin Castleton. Yep, absolutely. This is Williams now pushing up with just under 30 seconds left to play. He swings the ball over to Dell. Delph now back over to Lewis. Lewis working one-on-one -on -one against Johns Jr. We're going to have a whistle here. It's going to be a foul on number five, Adrian Nunez. Kind of hooked his man as he was trying to get some, uh, gain some defensive position. Checking in with the Wolverines is going to be number zero, David DeJulius. He's going to check in after this first free throw attempt from Bibby. Interesting fact about Bibby, he shot a perfect 100% from the free throw line last year, even though he only shot four free throws. Like father, like son, son by son. Yep, absolutely. Nunez is going to check out here with 24 seconds left to play and in checks number zero, David DeJulius. DeJulius, slow production here in the first half, has zero points and only one assist. Bibby knocks down both free throws. We're going to have a whistle. Looks like it was, oh, it's just going to be a timeout here. Bibby continuing that hot streak of being 100% from the free throw line. But not enough for the Appalachian State uh, Mountaineers as they are down 21 points here with 24 seconds left to play in this first half. Folks, if you are just joining us, your Michigan Wolverines are up big here in this first half. They're up 46 to 25 over the Appalachian State Mountaineers. John Teske put up the first 11 points of the game for the Wolverines, Pat Four says. Yeah, absolutely. Teske's really been a force to, reckon, to be reckoned with here in this first half. 15 points, 11 boards. Anytime you see a double-double, that's impressive. You see it in one half, that's even more impressive. Yeah, there was 6.02 left to play when Teske got that 10th rebound. Really surprising offensive outburst by the big man. Yeah, absolutely. Something you love to see from your big man. Teske checking back into the game now to wrap out this first half. The Michigan Wolverines lineup is number zero, David DeJulius. Number two, Isaiah Livers. Number 11, Colin Castleman. Or sorry, Keston has checked out. Uh, Xavier Simpson checks back in the game. He's going to run the point guard for this last possession for the Wolverines. Yeah, that's Sh Xavier's first action in the last 10 minutes. Shot clock is dead here. Simpson's just going to dribble this ball out, look to take the last shot. Michigan offense looking kind of stagnant here, looking to run a play once they get to 10 seconds. Teske coming up for a screen here towards Xavier Simpson. Simpson looking inside. His pass intended for Teske. stolen away, but he gains that one back. There's going to be a breakaway for Appalachian State. And they're going to get the bucket as that ticks down. A little confusion there over whether or not that would count, but it is going to count. Nice breakaway layup there by Lewis to end out the first half. To close out this first half, your Michigan Wolverines are up 46 to the Appalachian State Mountaineers, 27 points. This has been first half coverage of Michigan men's basketball here on WCBN Sports. I am Charlie Brigham. I am Hunter Kimball. And we will see you back in a couple minutes for second half action.
And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for some second half action here for your Michigan Wolverines. There's two minutes left here in halftime. Uh, it's coming in the second half, what do you think some big keys here are, Hunter? You know, I think Michigan's got to keep rebounding the ball offensively. I think they did a really good job in the first half. I think we'll see some of the bench players get a little more time here in the second period. Yeah, Interesting note here was uh, the Wolverines shot 5 for 11 from 3 in the first half. Look for them to keep the, the hot 3-point shooting up. Yeah, absolutely. They look good all the way around. Uh, so some old stats for you here so far. John Teske is leading the Michigan Wolverines in both points and rebounds with 15 points, 11 boards. Uh, Double-double here in the first half. That's impressive. Even in a single game, but for one half, it's very impressive. Yeah, absolutely. Teske shooting 60% from the field, higher than his clip last year. Yeah, bad boy for Appalachian State. Uh, sadly, we had Justin Forrest there, one of their best players, actually go down near the end of that first half. Hopefully he'll be all right for the second half. He leads their team with nine points. Uh, Isaac Johnson, their big man, leads their team with three boards. And Adrian Delph leads the team with one assist. Yeah, hopefully Justin Forrest comes back strong. He came into the night just 69 points shy of uh, joining the 1,000-point club for App State. Maybe look good so far. You never like to see anybody hurt. We got one minute left here in, in halftime. Looking to start up some second half action here for your Michigan Wolverines. Looking to keep their foot on the gas here as they're coming in or coming out of the half with a 21 point lead. Looking to uh, expand that even more, get some more guys in. Yeah, look, I definitely think Howard's going to try and get a couple of the younger guys more involved this half with a 21 point lead. Yeah, I'm always good to get you guys some action, especially in non-exhibition games and you know, real games that actually count for something. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. This is the first time Appalachian State and Michigan have ever met on the court. Yeah, which it is. Yeah, that is a very good point. Okay, here we go, folks. Less than one minute left here in the half. Both teams going back to their bench. We're ready to get set and started back up for second half action. If you are just joining us, this is WCBN Sports here for coverage of Michigan men's basketball today. Michigan Wolverines facing off the against the Appalachian State Mountaineers. We had a great first half. Michigan got up big coming in the half. Coming, coming out of the half, rather, the 21-point lead. Yeah, as we said before, Teske put up the first 11 points for the Wolverines, slowed down a little bit, but still kept his production going. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Xavier Simpson sat out most of that first half uh, due to being in foul trouble. We'd like to see some more production out of him in the second half, hopefully to get something going for him. He only finished the first half with two assists and two points. Yeah, we'll definitely look to see Xavier facilitate the basketball a little more in the second half, especially as they get the young guys involved. And here we go, both teams taking the floor here, folks. This is second half action of Michigan basketball here on WCBN Sports. Chrysler's pretty packed today for this home opener of the regular season. The Maze, uh, the Maze Rage is all here in attendance today. Everybody's sporting their Maze. In appearance, looks like the attendance turnout was much bigger for the home opener this year than last. Yep, absolutely. A lot, a lot more people here. Maybe a lot of that is due to the fact that they gave out Juwan Howard bobbleheads before the game for the first couple fans that showed up. Yeah. You know, quite a lot of people were excited for that one. Here we go, folks. Starting lineup for your Michigan Wolverines to start this first half, or to start the second half, rather. We have number zero, David Julius. Number two, Isaiah Livers. Number three, Xavier Simpson. Number 15, John Teske. And number 55, Eli Brooks. Interesting to see, uh, interesting to see DeJulius out here to start the second half. Didn't see a whole lot of production from Nunez. Yep, DeJulius uh, only ended that first half with zero points. Hopefully we'll get some more production out of him. Here we go, folks, starting off. There's going to be Forrest back in the game, luckily. Hopefully he's all set to go after that injury. Looking hot so far with a nice pull-up jumper. Oh, that one's going to rattle in and out. Looks like it's going to be a foul call. Looks like it's going to be on number two, Isaiah Livers. You'd think Howard would get uh, some levers, a little bit of extended rest in the second half. He played every minute of the first. Yeah, well, we're looking to get a little bit more of that lead before he starts subbing out here. This is going to be Appalachia State ball underneath. This is going to be Forrest looking to him on the ball here. Looking a little high, it's pick and roll here. This is Williams coming off the screen. Actually, they dish the ball down inside over to Johnson. We're going to have a foul call here. Michigan fans real upset with that one. Looks like a little bit of a flop there from Johnson. Or right, it's enough to convince the referee he's going to shoot two free throws. That foul called on Livers. Another foul from him. That's going to be his third of the night. Wolverine fans here not too happy with that call for Isaiah Livers' third foul. 
Okay, we've seen some hard fouls so far in this game that have gone uncalled, and then that, but it's argued be a little soft, gets called there. That first one for Johnson rolls around the rim and then falls. That kind of brings the lead, or shorten the lead for the Michigan Wolverines to 20 points, score 46 to 26. Johnson's second free throw attempt off the front of the iron. We're gonna have a foul call against uh, Appalachian State. Looks like he's gonna go against number 21, Lewis Jr. Michigan now in control of the ball. It's gonna be Eli Brooks inbounding over to number three, Xavier Simpson. Simpson now bringing the ball up the court for the Michigan Wolverines. Simpson bringing the ball up now. Uh, Appalachian State looks like to be in a 3-2 zone. This ball swung it over Simpson. Simpson at the top of the key looking for Teske. That ball tipped, however, it's cleaned up by Livers. Livers swings it over to Simpson. Simpson over to DeJoyce. DeJoyce to Livers. Livers out to Teske. Teske tries to pass that one back out to Simpson. However, he's fouled. That's going to be Appalachian State first foul of this second half. That one's going to be on Forrest. Michigan now going to inbound the ball underneath the basket. Simpson's going to be the inbounder. Going to look to set up a play here, maybe a lob to John Teske or something like that. Actually, Livers bouncing back out. Looks like it's going to be Eli Brooks, number 55, to inbound. Referee blows his whistle, and Michigan sets up their play. Brooks looking for an inbounder. He passes the ball over to Livers. Livers with a quick pull-up jumper. That one good for Livers. Isaiah Livers drops the mid-range shot. We saw him do it all last year. Yep, absolutely. Livers now brings his total up to 10. Forrest just coming right down the court and blowing by Simpson. Not something you see much. Simpson, a nice on-ball defender. He just came out with a full head of steam and got all the way down there with a nice layup. That's going to bring his point total to 11. Big burst there by Justin Forrest. A lot of speed. Yeah, absolutely. Simpson now bringing the ball up. Swings it into Teske. Teske to the far side for Eli Brooks. Brooks with a nice shot fake. Not going to pull that one over to Simpson. Simpson to Teske. Nice ball movement here by the Wolverines. Eli Brooks all by himself in the corner now for three. Got it. <laughs> Michigan continues to show off their, ex their, their excellent shooting here. It's just been a barrage from the on the arc so far. They were shooting very well all the way around through everybody. Absolutely, Eli Brooks hits his third of the night. Great offensive performance by him. This is Brooks now guarding Forrest. Forrest swings the ball over to the far side. This is going to be Williams defended by DeJulius. DeJulius with a nice deflection there. Brooks grabs the ball. However, he's tripped up right away by Delft. That's going to be a foul on him. Appalachian State, the second foul of this second half. So start to the second half. Five, five, five fouls, I believe, in the first minute and a half. Yep, absolutely. Both Neither team really scoring much. Michigan able to put up six points. Appalachian State only able to put up seven. Here comes Simpson down the court. Coming into this looking like a 2-1-2 two -two zone. Simpson has the opportunity to shoot a three. He's not going to pull up on that one. This is into Livers. Livers with a nice drive with the left. However, it's going to go just off the front of the rim. Appalachian State coming out in transition now. Nice rebound by Johnson. Johnson swings the ball over to Delft. Delft now coming on the right-hand side. Oh, guarded by Eli Brooks. Looking for an ISO opportunity. However, calls for the screen now. Lewis Jr. with the screen. Rolls to the basket. Not going to get the pass there. Delft just kind of puts his head down and tries to get to the basket. Able to get the steal away. The steal by Eli Brooks. Dishes up to Xavier Simpson. Who had a nice fast break layup. Lays it off the glass. And it's going to be called goaltending. Simpson is going to get credit for those points. Michigan brings the lead to 53-28 to here. With 17 minutes and 51 seconds left to play here in the second half. Here is the inbounds pass, and it's going to be Williams bringing the ball down the court. He gets that ball right back to Forrest. Good to see Forrest back after that injury in the first half. Looks a little shaken up, but not too slowed down. He's got a one-on-one -on -one against Brooks. Gets the pick from Lewis Jr. with a nice take to the basket. Gets some contact from Teske, however, no foul call. Forrest is going to get that one to fall. That's going to be his 13th point of the night. Forrest has really been dominant. You can see him limping a little bit from that injury earlier, but he's going to just keep piling on. This is Simpson now looking for somebody to dish the ball to at the top to Teske. Teske gives it right back. Simpson for three, no good. That's something we've really seen Isaiah, or Xavier T Simpson struggle with throughout his career. This is Forrest now from deep for three. However, his shot's going to go wide off the back. Livers with a nice rebound, gives it right up to Simpson. Simpson coming down in transition. This is going to be Brooks again. Another three for Eli Brooks. That's his fourth of the night. Eli Brooks is red hot tonight. Michigan now extending the lead to 26 points, 56 to 30 here. With just under 17 minutes left to play, Forrest looking to go to work. He bows by to Julius with a nice in and out move. Bibby with a nice shot fake. This is the ball back out to Forrest. Forrest for three. That ball goes in and out to Julius with a nice rebound. Coming down in transition now. He's going to slow the ball up. Michigan didn't have numbers. He throws a lob into Isaiah Livers with a nice layup there. 
Great vision by David DeJulius. Livers just sneaks behind the zone defense, able to get up there for the lob. Another point for the Michigan Wolverines. They're up now, 28 points. We've seen Livers make athletic plays with the rim like that since last season. Yep. Forrest with another strong take to the basket. He's going to draw another foul, something we've seen him do a lot of this game. This ball, this foul is going to go to Brooks. Uh, fortunate for the Wolverines, Livers was also in the area. Wouldn't want him to pick up a fourth foul. Forrest is going to go to the free throw line now. He is three for five in the night from the line. Referee having a little chat with Forrest about something that just happened. Michigan fans getting ready to start screaming and yelling, doing their usual to try and fluster the other team as they're shooting their free throws. Justin Forrest really showcases offensive package tonight. Great ball handling, great vision, great finishing. Overall, good night by Justin Forrest. Yeah, absolutely. He has 14 points now as that first free throw drops for him. Rattles in and out. Rattles around and in. Sorry. Checking in for the Appalachia State Mountaineers. Lewis is going to check out. And in comes number 50, Seacat. Four setting up for his second free throw of the night. This one up. And rattles in and out. Nice rebound there by Xavier Simpson. Simpson now pushing the ball up the court. Going to slow down a little bit. Eli Brooks looking to shoot again. Harvey's going to pull that one back down. Kicks it to Teske. Teske kicks it right back out. Brooks with a little bit of a heat check there from deep. However, that one's going to go off to the left side of the rim. Absolutely. Brooks was feeling himself there. Yep, the shot you wouldn't usually see him take. But he's feeling himself so far. We're going to have an offensive foul called on the Appalachian State Mountaineers. It's going to be Michigan ball on the side inbound in here. Brandon Johns checking in now. Isaiah Livers checking out. Inbound of the ball now is Eli Brooks over to Xavier Simpson. Simpson now bringing the ball up the court, taking his time. If we missed that, we had a substitution just now. Jones Jr. checking in for Isaiah Livers. Simpson with the ball now over to the top. Swings to Eli Brooks in the corner. Brooks again from three. His shot a little short. Teske looking to get that rebound, except he's pushed back. Appalachian State's going to go out in transition. That's going to be a flush dunk from Lewis. Nobody even on that side of the court for the Michigan Wolverines. A little miscommunication. Appalachian State's going to get out in transition there. This is DeJulius now working the top of the zone. He swings the ball over to Brooks. Brooks with a one-on-one. -on -one. Can't find anybody. He's going to take his time, eventually pull up from three. Brooks got another one. That's his fifth of the night. Eli Brooks is red hot. Coming off that last game, double-double against Saginaw Valley State. A lot of his points came off of free throws, except he's showing off the jump shot tonight. Brooks now has 17 points, a team high for Michigan. Xavier Simpson now working one-on-one -on -one against Bibby. Nice steal there by Brooks. Brooks is going to get out in transition with Bibby right on his back. He's going to lay that one up and in. Looking for a foul call. He's not going to get that one. Brooks with a nice little string of uh, possessions back to back there. He's up to 19 points. Brooks looking red hot for the Wolverines. Career night tonight for Eli Brooks. Yep, absolutely. This is Johnson working one on one against DeJulius now. Swings it over to Bibby. Bibby with a nice pull up jumper. Banks that one down and in. Michigan picking up the pace now a little bit looking to extend that lead they're up 30 points now this is Simpson swinging the ball over to Eli Brooks quickly looking for a jump shot not going to get it Simpson swings inside to Teske Teske with a nice little alley-oop layup there gets that one to fall Michigan off 65 to 35 really just dominating this game right now Xavier Simpson with another assist there he came in tonight just 69 shy of joining the 500 assist club at Michigan this is Eli Brooks guarding Williams. Williams swings the ball over. It swung over again to Bibby. Bibby back to Williams. Williams looking for something now. Gets a screen from Seacat. Looking to get that two-man pick and roll game. However, nice recovery by Teske. Teske one-on-one -on -one now against Seacat. Shot clock ticking down. Six seconds. Five seconds. Teske with a one-on-one. -on -one. However, Seacat able to get that one up and over the seven-footer. And get that bucket to drop. Appalachian State brings their score up to 37. Appalachian State still in that zone defense, not working too well for them. This ball swung from Simpson over to Eli Brooks. Another shot from the corner. However, that one just rolls in and out. Looked like it was going to be good for a six three pointer. However, that one not too kind of a roll from the rim. This is Brooks now working against Simpson. Swings over to Williams. Williams up to the top of the key to Lewis. Lewis working one on one against Eli Brooks. This is Johnson now driving to the basket against Johns Jr. He's not going to get that one. That one's tipped a bit from the Michigan Wolverines. However, it falls back into the hands of Seacat. 
Five seconds now as Michael Bibby has the ball. Three seconds, two seconds on the shot clock. Over to Seacat. Seacat with a shot from the top of the key. It's going to go off the back of the rim and into the hands of Xavier Simpson. Simpson now pushing up. Pulls the ball back a little bit. Working one-on-one. -on -one. Nice pass inside from Simpson. The baseball no-look pass over to Brandon Johns Jr. for the flush for the Michigan Wolverines. They've looked just absolutely stellar so far to start this second half. Easy dunk there by the sophomore from East Lansing. Michigan just looking to be firing on all cylinders here. Appalachian State looking to really get something going here. Hasn't been much here in the second half. This is Bibby now on the right wing, guarded by Xavier Simpson. Simpson pokes that one away, but Bibby recovers. Lewis now driving to the hole, guarded by Teske. Teske, nice shot defense there. That rebound's going to be dragged down by Eli Brooks. Brooks now dribbling over to the right-hand side, pulls the ball back, gives it to Teske. Teske at the top of the three, looking to set a pick for Brooks, maybe looking for a pick and pop kind of thing. Teske for three. His shot way off. So that one goes off the backboard. Teske really showing why he dominates him down low and not the three-point line there. He had his first tonight, but maybe his luck's run out. Yep, absolutely. This is to Julius now guarding Williams. His pass inside deflected by Teske. However, Appalachian State recovers the ball. This is going to be Seacat guarding him one-on-one. -on -one. Seacat with the ball now looking to do some damage from the elbow. He passed the ball back to Williams. Williams with a nice drive against the Julius. That shot, a little nice touch, drops that one with a fadeaway jumper. Simpson now bringing the ball back up the court for the Michigan Wolverines. He's setting up. Appalachian State still sitting in this zone. They switched out of their man-to-man -man defense. That didn't really seem to work in that first half. Eli Brooks going to shot fake that one. Didn't want to pull that. Xavier Simpson trying to get inside and throw a lob. However, it's blocked by Lewis. That's going to result in a fast break layup by number four, Williams, for the Appalachian State Mountaineers. Some sloppy ball handling and passing there from Xavier Simpson. Not something you really see much from him. He was actually third in the country last year in assist to turnover ratio. He's working one-on-one -on -one against Williams now. He's driving inside. Nice take from Xavier Simpson. Over, misses the bunny layup, but gets his own rebound. Swings it back out to Brandon Johns Jr., who drives to the basket. He's going to get a foul call. It's going to be a block call on number 10, Michael Bibby. Johns Jr. is going to go to the free throw line here after this timeout. If you're just joining us here, folks, there is 11 minutes left here in this second half. Michigan up 67 to 41. We've really seen a Barstow game from number 55, Eli Brooks for your Michigan Wolverines. He has 19 points. Uh, 15 of those coming from behind the three-point line. He's shooting 50% from beyond the arc. Great night by John Teske as well. Got out to a red-hot start. Cooled off a little bit since then, but still playing great basketball. Yep, Teske yet to get a rebound here in this second half, except he still leads the team with 11. Really racking up the stacks there in that first half. Isaiah Livers, two for three from beyond the arc, chipping in six points as well. Yeah, Michigan's really been seeing the fire on all cylinders. Michigan up 26 points here in the second half. We're going to probably see some subs start to come in here in the second half, and Michigan continues to grow that lead. It's really been a great game all around for the Michigan Wolverines. Great home opener so far. Great turnout here in Chrysler Center. Cole Bajama's a dude, uh, guy you should expect to see get a lot of looks in this half. He had a significant amount of playing time against Saginaw Valley State, but hasn't got any looks tonight. Yep, absolutely. We got some clips showing on the bit on the Jumbotron here of Michigan players in the NBA. Just showed Jordan Poole and now showing Duncan Robinson, the fans, showing some love for the alumni. This time out just about to wrap up here. Both teams strategizing. Appalachian State looking to strategize, you know, get themselves back in this game. Being up 26 points is never easy. Michigan looking to just keep their foot on the gas and not slow down. Really. Appalachian State's gone on a couple of small scoring runs here tonight, but they haven't sustained anything for a long period. Yep, we'll give you some team highs for both teams. Right the Michigan Wolverines points right now is number 55, Eli Brooks who has 19 points, leading rebounds is number 15, John Teske, with 11 rebounds, and assists is number three, Xavier Simpson, who has six assists. For the Appalachian State Mountaineers, we have leading points category is number one, Justin Forrest, with 14. Leading rebound category is Isaac Johnson, number zero, with four rebounds. And with only one assist, leading the assist category is number two, uh, Kendall Lewis. Isaac Johnson for the Mountaineers chasing the 1,000-1,000 club, looking to become the seventh person in App State history to achieve that mark. Yep, Michigan's been really locking him down though so far in this game. This time out, just about to wrap up as the t-shirt cannon keeps firing those t-shirts in the crowd. There 
There's the horn and uh, everybody's getting off the porch so play can resume. 11 minutes and three seconds left to play here in the second half. Michigan with a resounding lead of 26 points. Keep in mind with this performance we're seeing from the Michigan Wolverines tonight, without their projected one of their projected starters, Franz Wagner, the 6'7 guard from Berlin. Yep, Wagner out with an injury. He's going to be out for about four to six weeks. He'll be out until around about start of Big Ten play. Starting back in now, there's going to be Xavier Simpson inbounding on the bottom of the rim. He kicks the ball to Colin Castleton. Castleton now over to Brandon Johns Jr. Appalachian State has switched back into a man-to-man -man offense after that zone didn't really work. Simpson now dribbling under. He swings the ball over to DeJulius. DeJulius to Brandon Johns Jr. for three. His shot falls short. Goes off the front of the rim there. Nice rebound there by Gregory. Gregory now for App State pushing the ball up. He swings the ball over to Delph. Delph now working one-on-one -on -one against Nunez. He swings the ball over to Lewis. Lewis driving to the basket. Oh, it's going to be a foul called. Looks like that one's going to go against number 23, Brandon Johns Jr. Gets called with a block there. We're going to have another timeout here. It's going to be a media timeout here on the floor. Right after that called timeout. Going to have some more uh, timeout shenanigans here on the court as the cheerleading team and the can and the t-shirt cannon come back out. Michigan, if you were just tuning in, has been absolutely dominant in this game. They're currently up 26 points over the Appalachian State Mountaineers, 67 to 41. Eli Brooks has really popped off so far in this game. He has five three-pointers. Been playing very, very well. Uh, looking at the upcoming schedule for the Michigan Wolverines, they've got a lot of non-conference action this month until they get their first Big Ten game against Iowa. Creighton, Elon, Houston, Baptist, Iowa State, Bama, and Louisville all on the non-conference slate for the Wolverines this year. Yeah, it's going to be great to get some non-conference action in, and it's really good for the Wolverines that there is so, so much time between uh, this game and the start of Big Ten play as they'll allow time for Franz Wagner to get healthy and be able to come back for this real last tournament push once Big Ten play starts. A great opportunity as well for Juwan Howard to get a feel for the ins and outs of collegiate coaching. This timeout just set to wrap up here. Looks like on the court for the Michigan Wolverines is going to be number zero, David Julius. Number three, Xavier Simpson. Number five, uh, Isaiah, or Adrian Nunez, sorry. Number 11, Colin Castleton. And number 23, Brandon Johns Jr. For the Appalachian State Mountaineers, we're going to have number two, Kendall Lewis. Number 10, Michael Bibby. Number 11, Donovan Gregory. Number 20, Adrian Delph. And number 21, James Lewis Jr. Wolverines with a commanding 26 point lead here. They've had it, they built it up steadily from the get go and they haven't let off the throttle at all against the Mountaineers. Yeah, absolutely. Appalachian State not really having an answer for really anything the Michigan Wolverines have done so far. They put up 41 points at their own but hasn't had anything to answer for on the defensive end, allowing Michigan to score 67 points. Foul battle about even. Appalachian State with five team fouls and Michigan Wolverines with four. We saw Xavier get in some foul trouble early. It looks like he's had, he'll be staying in for most of this second half. Yep, absolutely. You, you know, we saw a lot of uh, time where Xavier Simpson was on the bench. The other night against uh, Saginaw Valley State in that exhibition game, there was a lot of time he spent on the bench, but that was just due to it being an exhibition game and wanted to get some other guys some looks. In that game, Michigan really seemed to fall apart offensively when Simpson was not in the game. They lacked order, lacked efficiency. But tonight, that doesn't seem to be the case with Eli Brooks really breaking out. Hasn't seemed to miss Simpson much as they have scored 67 points here. Simpson sitting out for about 10 minutes in that first half. A little bit of a surprise from Adrian Nunez tonight. He's got significant minutes but hasn't produced much offensively or defensively. Yep, he is one for one from the field with only two points. This is Appalachian State now inbounding under their basket. This one pass inside to number 11, Donovan Gregory. That one was just an easy bucket. Michigan seemed to uh, you know, allow him to slip by. Very easy dunk for the freshman out of Charlotte. Yep, absolutely. This is Michigan now coming back down. Appalachian State playing their man-to-man -man defense as they have switched back out of that zone. This is Xavier Simpson guarded by Gregory. He makes a move. He has two guys on him now. He swings the ball over to DeJulius. DeJulius with a shot fake. Nice step back jumper. That one just rattles in and out. A rebound is taken away by Lewis. Lewis over to Bibby. Bibby passes up the sideline. Over to Lewis. That one gets that one to fall. 
Simpson now coming back down. Nice little offensive string there for Appalachian State. It's a nice ball movement leads to an easy bucket. Brandon Johns Jr. passes the ball over to David DeJulius now. DeJulius looking for Simpson in the corner. Simpson got some space. He's going to look to dribble by. But some looking for some nice pick and roll action from Castleton. Oh, he's not going to get it. Swing the back ball back over to Adrian Nunez. Nunez getting a pick from Castleton. Cas er, Nunez over to Simpson. Simpson out to DeJulius. DeJulius over to Nunez. Nunez for three. Bangs that one down. It's a nice ball movement. Eventually got Adrian Nunez wide open as the shot clock hit down to two. There he is right as we mentioned him. Adrian Nunez now two for two on the night. Hits his first attempt at three of the season. This is Michael Bibby now guarded by Xavier Simpson working one-on-one. -on -one. He swings the ball over to Delph. Delph now against Nunez looking to make something happen. He's got a pick. He's going to dish that ball over to Lewis Jr. Lewis Jr. back to Bibby. Bibby with a behind-the-back pass. Some flashy work there. Lewis Jr. looking to get past Colin Castleton after that nice pass. However, it's going to be a foul called on number 21, James Lewis Jr. Castleton able to, you know, he got... Caught him jumping there, but gets hit from behind. Looking to, uh, you know, take that foul. Checking in for the Wolverines now is going to be number two, Isaiah Livers, and number 55, the red hot, Eli Brooks. Appalachian State just couldn't capitalize on a great behind the back pass there by the, uh, underneath the hoop by Mike Bibby. Yeah, Appalachian State now down 25 points, 70 to 45. Michigan really putting on a show here. This is Simpson now dribbling down the court. He's guarded by Michael Bibby. He swings the ball over to Livers. Livers gives it right back, though. Simpson gets a screen from Colin Castleton. Nothing really to do for that one. Adrian Nunez from deep. That ball is just off the front of the rim. A little outside of his range there, but still like to see him pull that one. This is Delph now coming, working against Livers. He switches on to Colin Castleton. Castleton now, one man left open. This is Johnson left open, however. He can't convert on the up and under layup. This is Simpson now with some numbers pushing down. Looking for a fast break opportunity. His pass into Castleton, too hot to handle. It's going to go into the hands of Appalachian State. We have a foul call here. It looks like it's going to be on uh, number three, Xavier Simpson. Call for the hold. Adrian Delph with the take there. Scored Appalachian State's first two points of the game. Just one lone free throw made since then. Yep, Xavier Simpson with some real sloppy play here tonight. He has four turnovers, something you don't really hear much from him. He does have six assists, though. Just take a little bit of time to work the kinks off for Xavier, I'm sure. Yep, absolutely. This is number 20, Adrian Delph on the free throw line. He's going to miss his first one. Delph last year was a 65% free throw shooter. Just above average. He is set up to take his second shot here. Down low for the Michigan Wolverines. Boxing out. We have Colin Castleton and Isaiah Livers. Fans cheering here. Here's the second free throw attempt. Knocks that one down. It's going to be Appalachian State's total to 46 points. This is Xavier Simpson now coming the ball down the middle of the court. He's working one-on-one. -on -one against Forrest. Here's the ball swung over to Colin Caston now. Caston, a nice little move to get past his defender there. Kicks it to Livers. Livers with a pull-up jumper. Oh, that ball's tipped. It's going to fall into the hands of Michael Bibby. Bibby now pushing up the court. Guarded by Eli Brooks. Some nice ball movement there. Gets the ball inside. To Johnson. Johnson with a nice strong layup. However, it's going to go in and out, but he got a foul called on Isaiah Livers. Livers visibly frustrated with that one. Fourth foul of the night for Isaiah Livers. You can tell by his body language, he's not too happy with the referees after that call. Yeah, can't be really too happy with himself either. Four fouls is not much you like to see with eight minutes left to play in this second half. Coming into another timeout here. If you're just joining us, the Michigan Wolverines are up 70 to 46 over the Appalachian State Mountaineers. Some real keys to this game so far have been the fact that Eli Brooks has really had a you know, pop-out game here. He's gone five for 10 from behind the three-point line. He has 19 total points in UM high. Uh, in terms of rebounds, John Teske had a phenomenal first half, racked up 11 rebounds, but still hasn't had another one in the second half. Still leads the team though. In terms of Appalachian State, Justin Forrest, Michigan really hasn't had an answer for him. He has 14 points of his own. And Isaac Johnson has five rebounds for them. Appalachian State tonight has shown flashes of being capable to execute their offense against this Michigan defense, but overall just can't get anything sustainable. Yep, absolutely. Great turnout here tonight in Chrysler Center for the home opener of the regular season for the Michigan Wolverines. Pretty packed house so far. 
You got the air guitar cam going on on the Jumbotron as fans are jumping up and down and playing their best air guitar. This timeout just set to wrap up. We've seen a bunch of timeouts here in the second half so far. Not much play time has really elapsed here. We have 7 minutes and 57 seconds left to play in this game. Michigan Wolverines with a resounding lead of 24 points. Appalachian State's got a few upcoming games against Ferrum, East Carolina, and Montana State. So look for the Mountaineers to bounce back after a tough one tonight in Ann Arbor. Yeah, absolutely. It's never over until it's over, but the Michigan Wolverines seem to have this one handled thoroughly. In that first half, we'll kind of break it down for you. The Michigan Wolverines shot over 50% from the field, and they shot 18 for 33 from the field and 5 for 11 from the three. In terms of Appalachian State, they shot just 34% from the field and only made a quarter of their three-point attempts. Here we go, folks. This timeout just set to wrap up. Both teams taking the floor again. On the court right now for your Michigan Wolverines, you have number three, Xavier Simpson, number 55, Eli Brooks, number 23, Brandon Jones Jr., number five, Adrian Nunez, and number 15, John Teske. Teske and Jones Jr. Uh, on the bottom row to box out here as Isaac Johnson takes his free throw attempts. Here's his first one. That one's going to go off the back of the rim. No good. Fans love to see that. Missed free throw from the other team. No easy buckets here as Isaac Johnson setting up for his second free throw. This one. Knocks that one down. That's going to bring Apple at the state total to 47. Neither team tonight shot great from the charity stripe. Look for both coaches to insist their teams executed the line a little bit more in the upcoming games. Yep, Simpson swings that ball over to Eli Brooks. Eli Brooks inside to Teske. Teske double teamed. He tries to throw a long lob pass to Xavier Simpson right into the hands of Juwan Howard. Nothing, nothing you like to see there as a turnover, but the fans are real happy to see Juwan Howard get some more action on this Michigan court. Flashback to the Fab Fives that five days there, Juwan Howard. Yeah, absolutely. This is Justin Flores bringing the ball down the middle of the court now, guarded by number 55, Eli Brooks. Brooks has looked real solid on both ends of the ball so far. This is the ball swung over to Bibby now. Bibby born by Xavier Simpson. We've seen a lot of that this game. Bibby, though, nice, tough finish. Simpson really hasn't looked like himself on the defensive end. You know, he's been a real uh, absolutely solid player on man-to-man -man defense, but tonight he's just looked sloppy, been getting blown by all games and slow footwork. This is Eli Brooks working one-on-one -on -one against Delph. He's double-teamed right now. He swings the ball over to Brandon Johns Jr. Johns Jr. back out to Brooks. Brooks working one-on-one. -on -one. He swings the ball over to Simpson. Simpson with a nice little crossover. Swings the ball to Teske. Simpson had a lane to the basket, but opted to pass the ball over to Teske, looking to get the big man another bucket. However, that's not going to work out. It's going to be another turnover for Xavier Simpson. This is Isaac Johnson now with the ball at the top of the key. He tries a little handoff to Justin Forrest. However, Nunez... Pokes it out of his hand, but he regains control. Forrest with a nice take to the basket there. It's going to be an and one call as he makes that nice scoop layup. Foul is going to be called on number five, Adrian Nunez. 16 points tonight for Justin Forrest. Yeah, Michigan Wolverines really haven't had an answer for him. He has 16 points, by far the, the team high for Appalachian State. Showing great bursts tonight. Michigan defenders having a hard time keeping up with him. Yep, absolutely. Here he is at the line again. To, try to convert this three-point play. His free throw attempt is up, and it's good. He's going to knock that one down. Jones Jr. now set to inbound, passes the ball over to Xavier Simpson. Simpson now taking his time, pushing up. He's going towards the left wing now. He's working one-on-one -on -one against Forrest. Gets a pick from Brandon Johns Jr. Simpson now swinging the ball over towards Nunez. Nunez just kind of lets that one go by him. Going to end up as another turnover there. Some confusion from Xavier Simpson. Can't convert on that layup, though, for Appalachian State, and that's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be Michigan ball. A little miscommunication there by the Wolverines. Xavier Simpson throws a little underhand pass towards Nunez. Nunez doesn't really think it's intended for him. He just kind of ducks out of the way. Nunez is going to take a seat now as David DeJulius checks in for him. A little bit of a miscue on offense there for the Wolverines. Yep, here comes Simpson coming down. He's going to dish the ball over to Brandon Johns Jr. at the top of the key. He swings the ball over to David DeJulius. DeJulius now to the red-hot Eli Brooks. Brooks got real hot at the end of that first half, and to the start of the second half, he's cooled off a little bit. However, he drives the ball to the basket. It's going to be blocked off the glass, though, by number two, Lewis. This is Michael Baby now pushing the ball on the right side, guarded by Brooks. Looking to, for a set of pick and roll here. However, not going to work. 
This is Forrest now with a nice shot fake. Gets uh, Xavier Simpson at a jump and he just falls right by him and hits a nice floater there at the elbow. Absolutely, Justin Forrest burnt by Xavier Simpson there. Great night from number one for the Mountaineers. Yeah, we're, Dwan Howard's gonna call a timeout here for the Michigan Wolverines. Michigan has gone scoreless in the last three and a half minutes. Appalachian State up to an eight and zero run in the last five. Yeah, this is the second or third run tonight Appalachian State's put themselves on. As I said before, they just can't sustain it over long periods of time. We'll see how Michigan can fix their defense coming out of the timeout here. Yep, a little bit of a struggling uh, feat here for the Michigan offense. They looked real good in the, in the whole first half and the start of the second half, except they cooled down a little bit, can't stay red hot the entire time. Folks, if you are just joining us, there's just under six minutes left to play here in this game between the Michigan Wolverines and the Appalachian State Mountaineers. Michigan really just commanded this game entirely. They're up 70 to 54. Wolverines were 18 point favorites coming to tonight's contest. Appalachian State sticking around that projected line. Yep, absolutely. They're down 16 at this point. At one point in the first half, they were down by 31. So Appalachian State's put it together, staged a little bit of a comeback here against Wolverine. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe if hadn't gotten it out of hand so early, they might still be in this game entirely. Timeouts just set to wrap up here as both teams start to take the court again. Michigan looking to close this one out and gain their first regular season win of the game, win of the year. They have two uh, preseason wins against Detroit and against Saginaw Valley State. Big night all around college basketball tonight. Number one, Michigan State playing number two, Kentucky, and number three, can number three, Duke playing number four, Kansas. A lot of basketball action coming up. Yep, absolutely. Great basketball all the way around the country tonight. But what we really care about here in Ann Arbor is our Michigan Wolverines against the Appalachian State Mountaineers. Timeout wrapping up here. As everybody uh, exits the court and the players take it back again. Like I said, just under six minutes left to play here in this first half. It's gonna be Michigan ball coming out of this timeout. Very slow tempo here in the second half. Yeah, at one point Michigan was really pushing the tempo, running up and down the court like crazy. It's kind of slowed it down a little bit and settled it into more of a half court offense instead of that transition. Looks like Isaiah Levers will be back on the court for the Wolverines here, four fouls. Yep, Livers with just five minutes left, or with just under six minutes left to play foul trouble isn't really the biggest concern right now. On the court for your Wolverines, you got Xavier Simpson, Isaiah Livers, Eli Brooks, David DeJulius, and John Teske. For the Appalachian State Mountaineers, you have Justin Forrest. You have Justin Forrest, Adrian Delft, Michael Bibby, Kendall Lewis, and rounding that out is number zero, Isaac Johnson. Like I said, it's going to be Michigan ball here. Michigan set to inbound the ball all the way down the court. There's going to be Livers tossing the inbounds pass over to Xavier Simpson. Simpson now pushing the ball up. He's going to be guarded by Michael Bibby. Bibby now calling out some defensive plays. Here comes Simpson moving all the way around. He's got two guys on him. Swings the ball over to Livers. Livers now back to Simpson. Simpson keeps working that top of the arc, looking to gain it. Pass inside. That pass intended for Livers and goes right back out of bounds. Simpson really struggling here today. He has six turnovers, not something you really see from uh, Xavier Simpson much, really. He's known to be a clean offensive player. Never a good thing to have more turnovers and points. Yeah, absolutely not. Here is Michael Bibby now guarded by David DeJulius. Bibby now swings the ball over towards Justin Forrest. Forrest with a nice move on Eli Brooks, a nice step back jumper. However, that ball falls short of an air ball. Appalachian State able to recover the ball and throw it off at David DeJulius' back. That's a nice hustle play there by Adrian Delph, able to recover and keep the ball in possession of Appalachian State. Absolutely, made up for the air ball there by Justin Forrest. First truly bad offensive play we've seen out of him tonight. Uh, he looked a little shaken up on that one. Landed a little bit awkwardly, however, he's gonna just be right back in there to inbound the ball. We got three count, four count, almost doesn't get that one off. This is gonna be a nice defensive play by Livers, however, he falls down, can't get the steal off the inbounds pass. Here's the shot with one second left on the shot clock for Appalachian State. Mike Bibby pulls up from nearly half court. However, that one just short as is Xavier Simpson now working on the left-hand side. He swings the ball over to Livers. Livers to Eli Brooks. Brooks is really cooled off here after popping off her five three-pointers in a row. 
This is delivers over to Simpson. Simpson now working one on one with a nice dribble move, driving to the basket. A little nice scoop layup, however, it's gonna rattle around. Simpson really just can't get anything to fall right now. Coming down in transition, this is Justin Forrest. His pass over to Lewis. Lewis, his layup blocked by Teske. Appalachian State is just swinging together a nice strand of rebounds right here. We had a timeout call from Appalachian State. Great strategical timeout there by Appalachian State. Quite a series of offensively for Appalachian State. Just couldn't get anything to fall. That was a real sloppy, sloppy little sequence by both teams. You know, Appalachian State had a player fall down. They coming in transition. That ball passed up to Lewis. Lewis is lay uh, layup blocked by Teske. T uh, Teske's block scooped up by Michael Bibby. Bibby shoots a three-pointer. That goes long. Michigan misses another offensive rebound. Johnson able to pull up for a little mid-range shot. That one misses. Michigan still unable to grab an offensive rebound, and Appalachian State just calls a little timeout there. Juan Howard has to be unhappy with his team's offensive re or defensive rebounding right there. Appalachian State's got the Michigan's lead cut down to 13 now. Yeah, one point, Michigan was up by over 30 points. That lead now cut to 13. We have four minutes and 33 seconds left to play here in the second half. New Michigan Wolverines are up 70 to 57. Eli Brooks and David DeJulius on the court now for the Wolverines. This is gonna be Wolverines ball here. David DeJulius is set to inbound towards Xavier Simpson. Referee blows the whistle and we are starting back up here. Simpson taking his time dribbling down the court now. Fans cheering now. Simpson swings over to Teske. Teske at the elbow. He does a little handoff to Eli Brooks. Brooks swings it over to Livers. Livers looking inside to Teske. Teske out to Eli Brooks, the red hot. He's gonna go off to the right. Nice rebound by Xavier Simpson though to recover and reset the Michigan Wolverines here. He gets a pick on the left side from Teske. Can't quite swing it into him. He swings to Eli Brooks. Brooks over to DeJulius. DeJulius delivers, nice ball movement there. Livers for three, his shot gonna fall short. Michael Bibby with a nice rebound there. He swings the ball up to Forrest. Forrest not wasting any time. We're gonna have a foul call here. Looks like it's gonna be a charge call. Nice take there by number zero, David DeJulius. Or sorry, number 55, Eli Brooks. Draws the charge there on Justin Forrest. That's a winning play right there. And another timeout on the floor. Media timeout this time. Yeah, we have just over four minutes to play here in the second half. Michigan Wolverines are still scoreless. They haven't scored in the last over seven, or sorry, six minutes and 40 seconds. Appalachian State's on an 11-0 run. Michigan need to, you know, if they didn't have such a big lead, they'd be, they'd be scared right now. Just really... Really not what you wanted to see uh, coming in here if you're Jawan Howard out of this team. Lulled the sleep on offense a little bit here late in the second half. Look for them to come out and finish strong over these last four minutes. Yep, absolutely. Fans doing the fight song right here as this timeout sets to end here. If you are just joining us, folks, there is three minutes and 58 seconds left to play here in this first regular season game for the Michigan Wolverines. They're currently up 70-57 to 57 over Appalachian State. It's been an offensive show for the Wolverines. Multiple players over or in double digits. Isaiah Livers has 12 points. John Teske has 17. But leading all of them is number 55, Eli Brooks, with 19 points. He's gone 7 for 15 from the field, going 5 for 11 from 3. Eli Brooks setting his career high in point score tonight. Yep, Teske's been a force on both ends of the floor, has eight defensive rebounds, 11 total. Xavier Simpson, the point guard for the Wolverines, has had a nice night, sort of. He has six assists, but also has six turnovers, something you don't really see for him much, sloppy play on the offensive end. Four, eight, six, uh, somewhat typical stat line we're used to seeing out of Xavier Simpson for the Wolverines. Yep, absolutely. However, you never like to see more turnovers and points, as you said earlier. <laughs> absolutely. David Julius still scoreless for the Wolverines, but he's going to stay, and he's been uh, playing well, spreading the ball around. He's been doing little things on defense to keep Michigan ahead in this game. We've got a long media timeout here, long commercial break. There's the horn, though, and we're going to start play back up here in a second. Limited minutes tonight for Brandon Johns. A little bit surprising as a projected starter for this Michigan team. Yeah, I don't really know what the deal is there for Johns Jr., but he's going to take his seat on the bench again. In the game right now for the Michigan Wolverines is David Julius, Xavier Simpson, Isaiah Livers, John Teske, and Eli Brooks. And 
here is the whistle from the Wolverine or from the referee, and the Wolverines are going to aim on the ball. Xavier Simpson now just crossing half court, dribbling the ball off with his left hand. He's got Michael Bibby on defense against him. Simpson dribbling, dribbling the ball up. Teske sets a nice screen for Isaiah Livers. Livers trying to drive baseline around his man. That was going to be tipped, and Livers is going to lose control of the ball. Nice defense there by Kendall Lewis, able to force the turnover there from Isaiah Livers. A little bit of sloppy ball handling there from Isaiah Livers. Livers seems to lose control of that one. Not really too sure what happened there. It's going to be Justin Forrest. He's letting the ball roll down the court to save some time for Appalachian State. Now he's pushing up. Looking to make a move against Eli Brooks. Swings the ball to Michael Bibby. Bibby back to Forrest. Forrest with a deep three. Got that one. Nice little just pull up jumper there on the catch and shoot. That lead is, that shot cuts the Michigan lead to 10. Make that 25 for Justin Forrest. What a night. Yeah, he's really having a night. Michigan has no answer for him. This is Xavier Simpson now guarded by Michael Bibby. Almost loses that one, however, recovers. Simpson with a nice dish out to Isaiah Livers. Livers' is, dribble is taken away. However, he's going to be tied up, and it's going to be a jump ball called. Michigan's going to retain possession of this one. Appalachian State on a 14-0 run in the last seven minutes and 20 seconds. Michigan really needs to figure out what's happening here on the offensive end. Still a 10-point cushion for the Wolverines, but the lead feels a lot smaller. Absolutely, they were up by 30 points at one point. This game seemed pretty much all but over. Where Appalachian State has kept fighting and gotten the lead to, or gotten the lead to 10 for Michigan. This is Eli Brooks with a nice shot fake. He swings the ball off to Teske, or intended for Teske, but that one's taken away by Isaac Johnson. This ball now passed down the court from Forrest over towards Kendall Lewis. Kendall Lewis throws that one down. The lead is now single digits for the Wolverines. Appalachian State's cut this one 70 to 62. Appalachian State, Appalachian State crowd getting involved here. Yep, absolutely. This is Xavier Simpson now working one-on-one -on -one against Bibby. Simpson kicks to the corner for Isaiah Livers. His three-point attempt, no good. Teske's going to grab this rebound, and he's fouled by number one, Justin Forrest. That's going to be a seven foul for the Appalachian State Mountaineers. Teske's going to go to the line for a one-on-one -on -one attempt here. Isaiah Livers got a little bit cold from beyond the arc after making his first two three-pointers tonight. Michigan looking to end this scoring drought. They haven't scored in the last seven minutes and 53 seconds while Appalachian State has scored 16 total points to cut that 30-point lead down to just eight. Teske's free throw attempt falls short, almost air balls that one. Michigan still yet to score in this last eight minutes. This is Justin Forrest now coming up, working one-on-one -on -one against Eli Brooks. The crowd here in Chrysler Center getting real loud. Bibby now defended by DeJulius. He's calling for a screen. Up comes Isaac Johnson. Bibby now. Pulls that one back, kicks the ball over to Kendall Lewis. Kendall Lewis driving to the basket with a nice up and under layup. The lead now cut to six points. Michigan really struggling here. There's two minutes left to play. Michigan hasn't scored in the last eight minutes and 30 seconds. Finger roll there by Kendall Lewis to cut the lead to six. Yeah, absolutely. This is Xavier Simpson at the top of the key. He sends the ball to Isaiah Livers on the elbow. Livers with a nice crossover, gets his man to miss. He kicks the ball to DeJulius. DeJulius now working with his man. Simpson back on the one-on-one -on -one against Bibby. He drives to the hoop with a nice little hook shot. Oh, that one's going to go just over the rim. Misses everything there. Simpson really struggling here in this second half. However, he gets a nice steal. He's going to come out and transition for the Wolverines. He's his layup misses. However, Isaiah Livers with a nice putback there. Isaiah Livers with the putback. What a play for the Wolverines' first points in over eight minutes from Isaiah Livers. Yeah, the official count was nine minutes and four seconds between the last scoring chance for the Wolverines. Timeout by the Appalachian State Mountaineers. They have cut their 30 point deficit to just eight with one minute and 30 seconds left to play here in the second half. What do you think has happened so far, Hunter? I think that the Wolverines got complacent both on offensive and defensive side of the ball and Appalachian State just kept chipping away at that big Wolverine lead. Wolverine's extremely fortunate there on a badly missed layup by Xavier Simpson that Livers was hustling down the court to put that one back in and regain a little bit of the momentum. Yeah, Juwan Howard has to be frustrated with his team here. Get up at 30 points at any time. Should really call that game pretty much set. However, Appalachian State able to come back here. Michigan hasn't really looked good at all here in this second half. Regardless of how this one ends up, Jawan Howard and the rest of the Michigan basketball team can't can't look back on this game and be satisfied with what, what occurred, especially yeah. in the second half. Absolutely. Appalachian State now at 64 points and the Michigan Wolverines at 72. 
what was at one point a 31 point lead for the Wolverines has been cut to eight with a minute and 30 left here to play. Michigan two fouls away from a double bonus. Appalachian State three fouls away from a double bonus. Gonna probably see a lot of fouls and chopping here trying to get Michigan to score or to shoot some free throws and get Appalachian State back in this game. On the court now for the Wolverines, it's still the same lineup as before. You have Xavier Simpson, David DeJulius, Isaiah Livers, John Teske, and Eli Brooks. Eight point lead here for the Wolverines. Appalachian State with the basketball. Michael Bebby inbounding. Yeah, Bibby set to inbound here, guarded by David DeJulius. Bibby looking to inbound, can't find anybody. He eventually swings the ball to Justin Forrest. Forrest now working one on one against Eli Brooks. A little step back, his shot, an air ball. Nice rebound cleaned up by John Teske. Xavier Simpson now taking his time, pushing down the court, looking to waste as much time as possible as Michigan is only up eight points. A minute and 15 left to play here. Isaiah Livers in control of the ball now, swings it over to Eli Brooks. Brooks now over to Simpson. Simpson with maybe one on one. Hits the ball to Isaiah Livers on the elbow. Livers with a one-on-one -on -one now. He shot fakes. Not going to go that one. He kicks the ball over to John Teske. Teske right around the rim. Can't handle that one. That one almost falls. However, we're going to have a travel call on the Appalachian State Mountaineers as they're coming down in transition. That one's going to be uh, Kendall Lewis really just trips up there. Can't really pass in time. That's a very fortunate break for the Wolverines there. Might have been scary. Great pass by Isaiah Livers on that previous possession. Just a little bit of butterfingers underneath the hoop by John Teske. Yep, absolutely. This is going to be Isaiah Livers set to inbound here with 57.4 seconds left to play here in this game. Michigan Wolverines only up eight points. Livers kicks in to Isaiah Simpson. Michael Bibby's going to come over and foul. Expect to see a lot of that here as this game wraps up. Simpson Over going to the free throw line now. Simpson not known to be the best shooter. Hopefully he can knock down these free throws right here. Inside the rebound for Simpson's free throw attempts is going to be John Teske and Isaiah Livers. Isaiah Livers really improving his rebounding ability from last season. Yep, here is Simpson. Set to take his first free throw. This one up and short. Almost airballed that one. Appalachian State coming out, coming down in transition now. The ball obviously going to Justin Forrest. He's been solid all game. Step back, pass Livers. This one goes in and out. We're going to have an offensive foul called against the Appalachian State Mountaineers. This one's going to go against Isaac Johnson. He pushes Eli Brooks to the ground. Great move there by Justin Forrest. Just couldn't quite get the shot to fall. Yeah, if he would have banged that one down, that would have brought the lead to five. Would have been real scary for the Michigan Wolverines. However, with 46 seconds left to play here, David DeJulius is going to go to the free throw line here to try and heighten the Michigan lead. If you missed it, folks, the Michigan Wolverines at one point were up 31 points, and that lead has been cut down to just eight as Appalachian State went on an 18-2 run in the last 10 minutes. His first free throw attempt in the double bonus is going to rattle in and out and off the backboard. No good. Michigan's really struggled to score the ball here in this second half. Awful free throw performance tonight by the Wolverines. Here comes to Julius for his second free throw attempt in this double bonus. This one up and off the back iron again. Michigan can't convert here. Justin Forrest coming down looking to do his thing. He has 25 in the night. This one swung over to number 20. Adrian Delphi bangs a three. That cuts the Michigan lead to just five. This is going to be another timeout called here by Appalachian State. This is the smallest five-point lead these Wolverines have ever felt, Charlie. This is absolutely insane. I know we just said it, but if you missed it, Appalachian State was at one point down 31 points on this. This is an absolutely outstanding effort to come back into this game by them. However, Michigan just absolutely has looked terrible in the last 10 minutes. They've uh, trailed in a 21 to two deficit in the second half of the second half. That was Adrian Dalf's first bucket made from the field since the first two points for the Mountaineers of the game right there. Here we go, this time out wrapping up. Michigan is going to be in control of the ball here. Expect to see a foul from the Appalachian State Mountaineers as they try to get Michigan to shoot free throws. And look to get the ball and not able to waste any clock. It's going to be Isaiah Livers to inbound. John Teske is right near him on the free throw line. And back at half court, we have David DeJulius and Isaiah er, and Xavier Simpson with Eli Brooks right at the end. Brooks now gets the inbounds pass. He swings the ball over to Isaiah Livers. Mountaineer is not able to get a foul call on him. 
Michigan really just playing keep away right now, doing a nice job. Eventually, they get the foul. It's gonna be Kendra Lewis following Eli Brooks. Michigan with a nice little keep away there to waste some time and get time to run off the clock. Michigan up just five points now with 31.1 seconds left to play. Mountaineers would have preferred to get the foul off on a little bit less of a free throw shooter than Eli Brooks. Yeah, Brooks went nine for nine from the line last game against Saginaw Valley State. A hush falls over the crowd as Brooks steps to the free throw line. This first one up and short. Michigan really struggling from the free throw line today. Just a complete and utter collapse in every facet of the game tonight by the Michigan Wolverines. Now Eli Brooks has 19 points over his first free throw attempt tonight, falls short. Brooks setting up for his second attempt here. This one up and good. That brings the lead to six. A little sigh of relief and a cheer from the Michigan Wolverines as there's less than 30 seconds left to play. Michigan wanting the carry call. This is going to be Adrian Delft driving to the basket. He dishes over towards Isaac Johnson. We're going to have a foul call. This looks like it's going to be called on John Teske. Sends Isaac Johnson to the line there. 67% free throw shooter in his career at Appalachian State. Yeah, Teske got called with the foul as he got caught jumping there. Isaac Johnson is going to step to the line with two very big free throws here. The Michigan fans being real loud. He's going to shoot two. His first one knocks it down. Michigan up just five points now. 73 to 68. We've really seen just a total collapse from the Michigan Wolverines here in this second half. They're up 31 points at one point and now just up by five. 20.5 seconds left here to play in this game. Isaac Johnson stepping in line for his second free throw attempt. This one up and good. We're going to have a substitution here. Number 11, Donovan Gregory coming in, looking to foul here. Uh, save some fouls for the other Appalachian State players. Michigan up four points now with 20.5 seconds left to play. Livers set to inbound here. Count clicking down. We have a foul before the ball is even inbounded by Donovan Gregory. It's going to be on Eli Brooks. Brooks kind of set to the ground. He's going to go and shoot free throws. Eli Brooks missed the first, made the second last time he was at the line. Brooks looking to put this one in and heighten this to more than a two-possession game. Michigan fans kind of shaking in their seats now as their lead is just completely collapsed as the team is on a, is losing a 23-3 run in favor of Appalachian State in the last 10 minutes and 22 seconds. Michigan really struggling just all the way around here. The referees having a little discussion here about the foul, the previous foul call and about the substitutions for the Appalachian State Mountaineers. Brooks is going to shoot his first free throw. Uh, the Michigan Wolverines are in the double bonus, so he'll shoot two. First one up and rolls in. Brooks knocks that one down as the cheers come from the crowd. Michigan now up 5, 74 to 69. Michigan has three men back to defend. Not wanting to give up any fast breaks. Simpson, Livers, and David DeJulius are all back on the defensive half. Brooks now to shoot his second free throw. This one up and rolls that one in too. Appalachian State now pushing down the court with less than 20 seconds left to play. They're down six points. This is Williams guarded by Eli Brooks. Swings the ball over towards Adrian Delft. That rebound pulled down by Eli Brooks. He's avoiding a foul here. Eventually just kind of shoved out of bounds by Kendall Lewis. Eli Brooks is going to go to the free throw line again. It's kind of appropriate that Eli Brooks would close out this game for the Michigan Wolverines as he has 22 points on the night. Bit of a desperation heave there from Adrian Dow. Yeah, absolutely. Trying to play a little bit of hero ball there instead of getting the smart shot. Michigan Wolverines are up six points right now. They're looking to get themselves out of a two-position game. If Brooks could knock these ones down, that'd be big. The first one up. Off the front of the rim, off the backboard, and falls in. That's going to bring the Michigan lead to seven. A much more comfortable lead here for Michigan. Brooks now stepping up for the second one. There's no be in a rebound from the Michigan Wolverines. Isaiah Livers, David DeJulius, Xavier Simpson, and John Teske are all back on the defensive half. This second free throw from Brooks knocks that one down. Uh, Appalachian State's going to inbound this one. Justin Forrest is going to come down, let it roll a little bit. He's trying to drive on Eli Brooks, gets to the basket, gets that one to fall with 4.8 seconds left. The Michigan Wolverines are up by six. 
Livers looking to inbound the ball. He dishes over to Xavier Simpson. Appalachian State's going to foul again. A little bit in desperation. Here's some boos from the crowd as there's no real point in that foul. With 3.7 seconds left, Xavier Simpson's going to go to the free throw line. Michigan Wolverines are up 6, 77 to 71. Simpson looking to heighten this lead a little bit. Overall, a great performance from the Appalachian State Mountaineers, led by Justin Forrest, 27 points tonight. Yep. Simpson's first free throw attempt is going to go up, and that's going to just drop down nicely. Doesn't hit anything, nothing but net there for Simpson. Simpson now up to just five points on the night, struggling on the offensive end. He steps in for his second free throw attempt, dribbles twice, gets this one up, and that one's going to fall for Simpson. So Michigan Wolverines in a little scary attempt here. Scary end of the game for the Michigan Wolverines. At one point, they were up by 31 points. Appalachian State able to cut this lead down to eight points at the end of the game. They got it within four at one point. That's absolutely insane. A terrible showing out for the second half, but a win is a win, Hunter. Yeah, win's a win. Wolverines, I mean, the, uh, just a feeling of relief among all the Wolverines tonight. If there's anything you know, to take away good from this game, Eli Brooks really showing that he can be a real threat. Uh, you know, he had a double-double last game, but a lot of those points, he had 11 points, nine of them came from the free throw line. Fans were really skeptical of whether he was the real deal or not. He really showing that he is. He had 24 points on the night, five three-pointer attempts. John Teske showing that he is the real deal as well. He had 17 points and 13 rebounds. Over Xavier Simpson, a little shaky on the night. He had six turnovers on only six assists. Eli Brooks had a lot of doubters coming in to this game in Ann Arbor. It looks like he silenced a lot of them. Yep, absolutely. So thank you for tuning in tonight on WCBN Sports. This has been men's basketball coverage. Michigan back in business on November 12th for the next home game against Creighton. But until then, this has been Charlie Brigham and Hunter Kimball for WCBN Sports. We're going to leave you with a good night, and as always, go blue.